Welcome to this demonstration of the Proxim Studio. Today we're going to be looking at a demonstration from the banking sector. Here we can see over there on this side we have our classification plan for a customer experience project which is generally on three levels. A first level that's very generic, subcategories where we're going to have more detail, and then a third level where we're going to find the sentiment associated, positive, negative, and in some cases neutral. As well as the textual data, we're also going to be able to add in all of the metadata associated. That's going to allow us to do interesting filters and customer segmentation. Up here, we can filter on a specific date range or specific time periods, and also filter on keywords if we wish. Here is the main data exploration zone with several uh, different tabs that are going to allow us to do do our different data visualizations. This first data visualization is on the tonality. So we can see, for example, subjects such as staff, uh, result of contact are coming forward very positive. However, staff, subjects such as the bank branch in and of itself coming forward very negatively. Subjects such as the number of employees, comfort, confidentiality, and number of counters are all overwhelmingly negative. Inversely, we can come see our staff, see what's being talked about, and see that it, those subjects are relatively positive. We can put this in terms of a percentage to be able to compare the subjects more easily, and also use the impact score. This is a, a possible when we have a measurable KPI, such as in this case the Net Promoter Score. This is going to allow us to calculate um, the impact of each subject on the KPI in question. For example, we can see subjects such as reception, responsiveness, or helpfulness are all increasing the KPI, therefore the likelihood of the customer to recommend the company to their friends and family. Inversely, we have subjects like follow-up, attentive listening, language, and honesty, all subjects that are likely to degrade the satisfaction and therefore could be uh, possible action plans that the company could put into place to improve their customer satisfaction. Next we can come into the stats. In the stats we're going to be able to explore the data either in the hierarchical view or in a flat view where we can uh, see the main subjects that are mentioned by um, the clients. We can come down into the subcategories as well to see what's being talked about. Next, we have the trends. In the trends, we're able to follow the evolution of themes over time. This can be a very useful tool for helping us to detect one emerging phenomenon, seeing are there new problems or subjects that are emerging over time that more and more people are talking about, or inversely, uh, measuring the effectiveness of our action plans, knowing if an action plan was put in to date at a, um, one period, two weeks later, a month later, six months later, what was the effectiveness of that action plan? Here we can see, for example, there was a huge uh, increase comparatively compared to the rest of the year in the number of mentions of staff uh, in um, March. So we can filter on staff, come into the subcategories to see specifically what was being talked about. I can even come down to the third level to have the specific sentiment. And what we can see is that it was a huge increase in the um, reception and friendliness of the staff being complimented. If that interests me, I can click on that and actually come back and see the original documents, see the documents in context, see what was being said by the customers. Next, we have the tag cloud. The tag cloud is going to allow me to bring forward the specific vocabulary that's being used. I can modify that by deleting some of the keywords maybe that don't interest me so much and focus on the actual concepts that are being mentioned. So good explanations, good advice, um, uh, lots of people and so forth. And as we saw earlier, I can filter on a specific subjects such as the number four, the NPS score, and see, so these are the people that gave me a very positive score, see what they're saying, and compare that to people that gave me a comparatively negative score such as two. Next we can come into the heat map. So the heat map is where I'm going to be able to cross analyze various data points. So I'm going to take my classification at the third level, uh, so the sentiment level, and cross analyze that with the, the KPI in question. 
So the way we read this graph is that the size of the ball corresponds with the number of documents associated, but I've ignored that so we can see it a little bit easier. What interests us is the color. So where there's a very strong dark color that represents a strong correlation between the two themes, and again, red is negative and green is positive. So here we can see people that give us a score of one, uh, really talking about subjects such as lack of follow-up and a lack of friendliness. Inverse on the people giving us the best score, um, they're quite positive about global satisfaction, helpfulness. However, there are some subjects that are still coming forward um, negatively, such as the availability and the number of employees. I can also take, for example, the um, name of the branch. And this is going to allow me to compare uh, the branches uh, based on a specific code and see the performance of each branch, what's going right and what's going wrong. So we can see, for example, the branch 33 is really uh, doing pretty well, global satisfaction, helpfulness and so forth. However, the branch 43 has a lot of problems coming forward. People are much more likely to complain when they're coming into this branch. A lack of uh, counters, a lack of employees, bad opening hours, um, bad procedures um, and a lack of steadiness of staff and so forth. So once we've done our analysis in the explore module, we can then come into the dashboards. The dashboards are really designed to help us diffuse that information throughout the company. So we can see based on a logic of widgets, lots of different data visualizations that we'll see and explore, as well as certain that we don't, such as the customer journey analysis, that are going to allow us to share this information throughout the company with all of our colleagues.